All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Steve O.D. from the 313 coming back at you with the second video of the day. Um, I had about a half an hour worth of stuff, and when I went to load it up, it said YouTube uh, could only take 15 minute uh, videos at the most. So if that one seems like it was jumping from <laughs> it was uh, I, I had a lot of detail and was doing my build so people could follow along without even looking in the direction book or somebody that has never built one before could follow along with that video so I'll have to watch my time uh, from now on but where I left off I didn't do much I, I basically broke it back down a little bit but I left off with this part here all I hit all I had done since then is you went on your parts tree <clears throat> excuse me you went on your parts tree and uh, cut off number b10 and b11 and all you did was take those two pieces and put them on the ends right here this is b10 and b11 right here you slid them in the bottom of the chassis like that we had already pulled out our hardware so we already had six screws waiting and you put two in here one there there's three same thing on the other side there's three that's well actually I'm sorry you put the two and two for that so we didn't get to this part yet then the next thing you want to do is grab your C1 and C2 off of your C tree and all you do to that is slide it in the slot <clears throat> there and there put one screw in here one screw in there and then maybe we had eight screws last time so but that's all you do to that that's that's all that's I'm not that much far ahead of the last video so on to the next step, which is the shocks. I have everything pulled out already, but I'll read them off to you. Uh, you want the MD4 uh, shocks by two, which is the rear coil springs. And I believe they are, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're fatter. <laughs> also, you need uh, two washers out of bag A they are the three millimeter washers which are these small guys here oh so where am I at where am I at right there need two of those and then I put two in here also from bag C you're gonna need these two guys right here also from bag C you're gonna need these 15 millimeter nuts right there All right and out of bag D you need to get these four uh, little brass pieces here all right so now we can continue piece a1 and piece a7 and piece a6 so you go find that on the parts tree, which is probably on this one because it has the shock stuff on it. And it is letter A. B times two. Yeah, there's two number A ones on here, so you want to get them both. And then we need A7, which is the shock body, which is going to be right here. Number A7, there's two of them. Clip them too. All right, so we'll set them to the side. Then we have a six. Okay, so there's two of them, obviously. And you wanna pop them off. All right, so I believe we got all of what we need for right now. So we can put that parts tree back. Put our cutters back. Now it's showing just to take uh, your long bolt here 
you're going to take your shock body here. It's calling for some grease. Grease around up my towel. Slide that bad boy down in there. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Push that down in there. I don't know. You gotta take your spring. Slide that over, or slide it to its stops there. I guess don't slide over on these ones. Then you're gonna take your A1s. <laughs> Which one were the A1s? They both, they all look the same. Oh, okay. The A1s have the holes in the bottom. The other ones don't. So that's where your screw's gonna screw into. Don't try to cross thread it. All right, shells you could put the other bolt while you're doing this. I think it's through it so it doesn't twist on you, but you can just hold it by your hand. But I don't want to keep going because I don't want to strip them out. So I'm just getting them pretty tight on there, and then. Uh, Boom, you take your A6 and push that bad boy down on there. And there you go, you got a shock. Now <laughs> we just gotta do the same thing for the next. Now this is where I fast forward it, save some time. Grease, 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 grease. Grease, grease. Shock body. Wipe my fingers. Get it down in there. Grab my A1, my A1, oh no, no, check that out. I caught it, my spring, and my A1. Oh, where'd my A1 go? No, get back here, you little bastard. I probably already lost half my crown already. <laughs> but it's all good. This video will come in handy for someone in the future that wants to build one of these. Boom. We got another one. Okay, set them to the side. Now, we need our these, one of these. You're gonna need one of your washers. Slide the washer over top. Now, it's showing a nut, but it didn't tell us to get a nut in the directions over here, but they say A5, so maybe A5 was something we were supposed to cut off on here. Okay, so they got some uh, plastic nuts right here, which is weird. I've never seen the plastic nuts before. I don't know why they wouldn't just use regular nuts, so. Or, I'm sorry, there's two. I just cut an extra one off. We'll put that to the side. That's an A. So it's it's showing me the shock. It's showing me this with the washer through it. Then you're gonna need one of these spacers. Now, but what you gotta do is you get your screw, get your washer, put the washer on, then you wanna grab one of these gold collars, and you wanna slide it in the top of the shock here. Then what you do is you come in from underneath and slide it up in there then put your screw through and then your plastic nut put on the other end and then you can start to do it hand tight but once you get it started you can uh, grab another 
well this one's jacked. You can use your little Tamiya wrench here and hold it. There we go. Oh, it's going. So once you get that little tricky thing in there, get it tightened up pretty good. Then what you're gonna do is grab your other remaining little thing here, slide that collar or whatever you wanna call it through the bottom and then the last piece of hardware that we had pulled out was the tapered type screw. And you pull that out and you screw that right into the side of the gearbox here. Tighten up a little more with this. All right, I'll come back and fix that one later. Now let's get to the next step. 